I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts. I attended high school right here at Springfield Central High School. I graduated in 2000 <laughs> and I loved my experience here. I've known that I was gonna become a teacher since I was 12 years old. Um, but when I was 12, I actually had more of an interest in pursuing science education. I wanted to teach botany and enviro. And then when I came to high school, I absolutely fell in love with literature and language, and it changed my whole perspective on what teaching could mean for me. Um, I had some really incredible teachers of my own here. I don't want to name them all because I'm really afraid that I'll forget someone's name and I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I had remarkable, remarkable teachers here and they changed my life. They made me feel intelligent. They helped me realize my potential. And when I think of the teachers who inspired me the most, my foreign language teachers come to mind because I had never considered traveling. I had never considered doubling my potential for friend circles. I mean, when you learn another language, you can communicate with that many more people, you know? And that was something that was really intriguing for me. And so when I had those really amazing experiences with those teachers, I had an even greater desire to be a teacher because I not only wanted to educate, but I wanted to give other students experiences like those. I teach Spanish. Um, I've taught a variety of levels. When I first started here, I taught Spanish 2, Spanish 4 Honors, and Spanish 5 AP. And then that evolved and I um, became a Spanish 1 teacher and I continued teaching levels 4 Honors and 5 AP. And right now, this year I teach level 1 and level 5 AP. And I love it. Um, I chose Central High School because I had incredible experiences here as a student. Um, some of my lifelong friends I met here, one of whom I met on the very, very first day of Central. I have another friend that I actually met in middle school, but we decided to attend the same high school and our friendship blossomed even further. Um, and I always had this really great family experience here. I mean, high school is difficult for everyone. There are always the negative aspects, but I, when I think of Central, I don't tend to think only about the negative things. The things that are at the forefront of my mind are the positive experiences I had here and um, the family atmosphere is something that I just really wanted to be a part of. But my favorite part is that on Monday mornings when I don't want to get out of bed because I'm not quite finished with my weekend mode, um, when I walk in the building here, instantly that goes away because I see students, I see staff, um, I feel that family vibe that I look forward to every single day. And I know when I wake up someplace on a Monday and I walk in the door and my outlook has been changed, that I'm in the right place for whatever the reason may be. This is my seventh year in Springfield Public Schools, but it's my sixth year at Central. I enjoy music. I'm a part of my worship team at Christ Presbyterian. And that's not really a hobby, that's more of a passion, but with that has come learning instruments that I didn't think I would ever play. Um, I learned bass guitar and acoustic guitar, which are things that usually, if I have downtime, that's what I'm doing at my house. I'm sitting in my living room playing guitar or reading. I love reading and the past few years have been difficult because it's teaching, a lot of people don't realize, but teaching is your life. It's not your job, it's your life. And it takes up a lot of time. Um, but over the past few years, I've become a bit more confident. I've you know, tightened up my routines and it frees up a little bit of time. So recently I just started reading, for example, the Wrinkle in Time series and I am in love. I go to the library whenever I can to grab a new book to read it. And I really love being outside. I love hiking, I love walking, I love bike riding. Oh, ooh, and traveling. I don't know if you can call that a hobby, but I love to travel. I try to go someplace new at least once a year. I have a lot of friends and so my time outside of school is sort of a balance between trying to be rested, healthy, and trying to maintain my friendships. Um, I happen to think that I have some of the best friends in the world. Like, your friends are not as cool as my friends, I can guarantee it. And so whenever I can, I'm trying to spend time with them. Uh, my friends are all over the place, so whether it means going to Boston or New Hampshire or Colorado or just you know trying to be with them wherever I can be. Um, meeting up for coffee, going to Bueno Isano, whatever. That's how I like to spend my time, with people. An interesting fact, I don't like butterflies. That's kind of strange. I, they creep me out a little bit. They're beautiful 
when they're pinned down to a mat or in a book or in a painting, but other than that, I am I'm all set. You will never catch me in a butterfly house. Never. Only in my nightmares. <laughs>